Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Christabel and I am a community pharmacist. So I have decided to just set up this channel and this online platform just to talk about community pharmacy, what it involves, what um, my qualifications are, what I hope to do in the future, um, maybe a little bit about what's been going on in coronavirus, just to give everyone um, a bit more of an idea about what community pharmacy is, um, the pressures that we face, um, and anyone who's sort of interested in maybe wanting to become a community pharmacist, maybe will help you to make some decisions, um, give you a bit of an insight into what the whole profession is about. Um, so just a little bit about me, um, I'm coming up to my three year qualification this year. Um, I have start. I started, well, I graduated from uni, I did my pre-reg with a big company um, and then I continued to work for them um, as a relief. So I was just sent around um, different pharmacies just to cover um, holiday sickness, just to, um, if they didn't have a store based pharmacist. Um, and that was all well and good to, it was really good just to get to know like what I liked about community pharmacy, what kind of community pharmacies I like because every pharmacy is different. Um, and then I moved on to a store based role in a big flagship store. Um, very busy. Um, and I then did a few more clinical things so I was then travel vaccination trained I did HPV vaccinations did meningitis B vaccinations um, I did hair retention program and um, the morning after pill um, I think, and the flu vaccination of course because everyone has to do that really um, and so I stayed there for a year and um, I learned a lot that year I I became a better pharmacist really because it really pushed me to my limits um, and I got quite a lot of support from some really nice people I met lots of really nice friends there um, but I actually then wanted to just move on see what um, life in an independent pharmacy was like compared to a big commercial pharmacy um, and so I moved to a small independent pharmacy in a town and I was a manager um, and it was all good. Um, I learned again, I learned a lot. Um, I managed to increase business quite well. And yeah, um, I didn't do so much of the clinical stuff. So I only did flu vaccinations because um, I was more doing the manager, managerial role at the time. So yeah, and then I left. Um, because I was moving house and I just decided that I am actually I didn't like being a manager I like being a pharmacist and so I thought why don't I become a locum pharmacist because um, you walk in as a pharmacist and you walk out as a pharmacist you don't have to do all the managerial roles which I personally don't feel I'm good at but I also don't particularly enjoy um, so yeah I moved on to being a locum pharmacist and I've been doing that for five months and I've been really enjoying it um, so I get to just choose my hours I get to choose where I want to go um, and I've met some lovely people I've worked in some lovely pharmacies I've worked in some not so good pharmacies um, and that's also the benefit I get to choose like if I didn't like a pharmacy and I just I don't ever have to go there again um, and so yeah, I've been really enjoying it. Um, I have also been accepted onto the Community Clinical Pharmacy Diploma at King's College London in September. Um, so I'll be starting that, which I'm quite excited about because I my aim is to move into primary care, working in GP surgery as a GP surgery pharmacist, um, doing all the clinical bits and bobs of queries, um, doing reviews for basic medications and getting my independent prescriber so that I can prescribe. Um, so yeah, that's my ultimate goal. Um, so from here, I thought I'd just do a little introductory into what this channel is going to be about, a little bit about me so you get to know me. So from now on, I'm just going to do like days in the life of a locum pharmacist or weeks in the life of a locum pharmacist if I'm quite busy. Um, just to see 